Hey church, welcome to today's devotion. My name is Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church. And it is my privilege to introduce this uh, week's and the next two weeks devotions um, shared with you from some of my friends about their favorite scripture and the uh, importance that it is to them and the impact that it's had on their lives. I'm gonna take a bit of a liberty today because I'm gonna talk to you about two scriptures. The first one from Proverbs 3, verse five and six says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I love this verse. My mum wrote it in my 17th birthday card and I would say it's one of my favorite verses. Another of my favorites is Philippians. Philippians, can never say that right. Four verse eight, it says, so keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real and honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure, holy and merciful and kind. Fasten them. Fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God praising him always. This is an amazing scripture. I find it so empowering, challenging, helpful. It refreshes uh, me and when I read it, it shifts my eyes heaven, heavenward and away from me. It refocuses my perspective. I say that these two scriptures have kept me sane, lifted worry and burden and brought me joy in some of the most difficult circumstances that I've Face. Proverbs has taught me to lean into God, to understand and have a revelation of him as my father held in his arms and leaning in, resting my head on his shoulders as his mighty arms hold me tight and, and close. I'm resting there, reassured there, protected there and above all loved there. And no matter what is going on around me, I don't have to worry because he's got me. I just need to trust in him and he is in control. Philippians has encouraged me to audit my thoughts. They can be, as I'm sure yours can be, a nightmare all over the place. They can take me to places that I do not want to go. Insecurities, failings, fear, anxiety, comparison, and unworthiness. I have prayed for years that God would take these thoughts away, but then I realized that they're like flies in the summer. They're just always there. However hard you try to stop them, they still keep coming. You bat them away. That's what you gotta do, bat them away, will them away. They just keep coming. What do you do then? Well, I'm learning to think about things that are good and things that God says about me, creating in me a list of I am statements so that when the negative thoughts come, I can quickly shift my thinking to these like replacing my thoughts, like a football manager, seeing thoughts that I don't want on the pitch and replacing them with thoughts that I want on the pitch. A bank of good thoughts, great scriptures and promises of God in my head that I can simply say over myself. The one that I know that is powerful is that I am a child of God. Love you church, have a great rest of your day and if you want think on those two scriptures as well. See you soon.